Can someone name me as a trustee in a living trust without my consent? I was named as a trustee of a living will that I did not know about and did not sign. The trust currently only has the grantor's signatures with a witness signature that was notarized. I have asked the grantors to remove my name from the trustee. They said that I can just decline upon their deaths, but how easy is it to do this? What kind of paperwork will I need to file? The beneficiary is also a mentally disabled adult who will be without a legal guardian. Ah. And the successor trustee also verbally informed me that they also intend on declining to serve as trustee. You, you are under no legal commitment if you are named as trustee, guardian, king of the whatever king of the will <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're no you are under no obligation to do anything we have the 13th amendment to the constitution which bans uncompensated labor um but you can resign and i was i was looking for a sheet of paper because no easier is to resign is you can write a sheet of paper i resign as trustee <laughs> sign it maybe get it notarized mm -hmm. hand it to the trustee and go on your merry way well i mean it sounds like they're being named potentially the trust of a special needs trust potentially that's like it. being a trustee of a special needs trust is even a lot of work even more work than the regular trustee because yeah, there's a lot of work there's like a Very regulation I'm, I'm, probably not, I'm probably not using my fingers wide enough for regular what the regulation book looks like what on, so what are some yeah. of those what are some of those things why is how is that different so from trust? a special needs trust is a trust that's designed in a way that the the person who's the beneficiary does not have direct control over the assets and the trustee can only make distributions in a certain way because the adults are recipient of ssi or medicaid they're, right. they're what is ssi social security um, social, social security, security okay. insurance yeah so it's a they way it's a way to try to preserve eligibility for those benefits well, popularly known as disability so if you will see our disability that's what they mean so and the trust is basically designed to like insurance. give them a level of income that's below than the, like, about right. you above it so, so oh. the ssi pays yeah. for like their rent and medicaid pays right to medical bills and the trust supposed to supplement it a normal trust can pay for things like rent food etc cetera, etc cetera. a special needs trust actually can't pay for some of those things because that would affect your eligibility I've, so <laughs> being named the trustee of a special needs trust without your consent is a very bad idea we're starting yeah. off the guardianship episode on a on a high note boy well, i don't <laughs> i don't know what you expected we're talking about a topic about kids about, whose parents are both dead saying, we're, I know, we're talking about which is awful. we're kicking off 2021 with orphan talk not, <laughs> hey everybody thank you for watching or listening if you like the show go ahead and give us a three-star rating don't worry about subscribing that's not okay that's not right <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see and you're thinking you might want to get started on this, we recently put together an ebook that goes through a lot of the information that you're going to need when you're getting ready to start planning out your own estate. It is available for free at the link right below this video. So go ahead and give that a click and give us a call. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.